So as part of our very simple view authentication, we want a couple of pages. We want the home page, which will just be obviously the home page. We want a page where we can sign in. Later on, you might need a page to sign up as well. And we also want a dashboard page for when we look at uh, simple middleware a little bit later. And we also want a component for the navigation as well. So we can see the user's name in here and decide what to show in the navigation based on their authenticated state. So that sounds a little bit more complicated than it is. All we really need to do is copy over this home template and create a sign in dot view page. So let's go and just switch this over to sign in and we'll change the name of this as well. You don't need to specify a name for your template, but we'll go ahead and do that anyway. And we'll also do the same for the dashboard as well. So we can look at accessing the dashboard if we are signed in. So let's again change the name of this over to dashboard. Great. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of the hyphen in there as well. And we are good to go. Now what we can do is over in the router, we can register the paths for each of these. So we've got one and two to add. We've got the dashboard and the sign in page. So let's work on the sign in page first and let's reference the sign in component, which we haven't imported just yet, uh, but we will do in a second. And we'll do the same for the dashboard as well. So we can link over to that dashboard like so. Okay, so these aren't imported. So let's go and pull in the sign in page that we created from views sign in. And we'll do the same thing for the dashboard as well. So we should now be able to access these over in the browser. So let's head over to slash sign in and there we go and slash dashboard and there we go. Perfect. All we need to do now is create a navigation component. So I'm going to call this the navigation. It's just one component. We don't really reuse this anywhere but at the top of the site and we can just go ahead and create a template out in here and let's just put nav here for now and let's go over to our app.view file. Let's create out our script here and let's go and import the navigation from and in this case we can just go at components the navigation like so and at is an alias for the root of your projects inside of source so if you need to go back directories try and avoid doing all of this stuff to go back just use the at to get back to the root it makes a lot uh, for a lot more cleaner code and we'll just define this component out in here. And then all we want to do is just reference this at the top of the page and we can self close that because we don't need any content inside of it. So now we have our nav on each of our pages, which helps. And we can go ahead and fill in what we need to inside of the navigation. So this is just going to be a really simple unordered list with list items. I'm not styling this out, we're just focusing on the code itself and how to get this working. Uh, but we want to just link to a couple of pages and we'll fill all of these in now, despite the fact we're not authenticated. So let's add in a router link here and let's end that. And inside of here, we're going to say home. So we're going to link to the home page. I'm just going to pull these down as well. I just prefer to keep this nice and tidy. We're going to use the to prop to pass in an object and we're going to say that we want this to link to the home page. So what that will do if you are new to view is if we say over on the dashboard and we click home, that will forward us over to the home page. So that's all we need to do to start uh, linking through to different pages in view. So the next thing is going to be the dashboard. So let's say dashboard of course this isn't going to be shown unless we are authenticated um, and we will get to that a little bit later and just before that actually I want the user's name in here so that's where I want the user's name to be displayed if they are signed in so these two we're not going to show unless of course we are authenticated and we also want the ability to sign in which of course will be if the user is unauthenticated. And we also want the ability to sign out, which we aren't gonna add as a router link because we need to send a post request through to our endpoint to sign us out. So let's get rid of that. And let's just set the href here to a hash for now. And of course, fix up that ending tag. So we've now got the ability to sign in, go to our dashboard if we're signed in, show the user's name if we're signed in 
of course go home which is always going to be there and also sign out so really uh, we can just swap this around let's move sign in up here and basically we want to show all of this if the user is signed in and we want to show this if the user is signed out and of course you may have other links that you want to add to the navigation as well like the user settings and all that kind of stuff but that's pretty much the scaffolding for our app. So the next part, we're going to focus on heading over to the sign in page, rendering out the form for this and actually going ahead and authenticating the user and getting that token back from an API request. So let's bring up our console ready for the next part so we can monitor our network tab for our XHR requests and of course monitor for any errors as well. So let's head over to the next part and start authenticating on the client using the API built we built in a couple of parts back.